Hello and welcome back to Transfer Talk on Football Daily, where we break down the latest rumours and gossip surrounding the Premier League's best players. Without further ado, let's get into the video. We kick off this week's roundup with the latest news surrounding David Moyes' West Ham. Fresh off the back of another promising campaign that saw them finish 7th and reach a Europa League semi-final, the Hammers have made a decisive start to the window. Bit part players Yarmolenko, Fredericks and Martin have all departed, alongside club captain Mark Noble. And they have already signed Nayef Aguerd, a highly rated 26-year-old Moroccan centre-back who has spent the last two seasons shining for Wren. But they aren't done there. Oh no, that's because Sky Sports are claiming that West Ham are expected to make their interest in Chelsea striker Armando Brogia clear in the coming days, with a bid of £30 million expected. The East Londoners have reportedly identified the 20-year-old Albanian, capped 14 times by his country, as their top striking target this summer, as they look to ease the burden on 32-year-old Mikel Antonio, whose form fluctuated dramatically last term. Broya spent the 21-22 campaign on loan at Southampton, where he scored 9 goals in 32 games in all competitions, with Ward Prowse the only player to top his goal tally in Hasenhutl's low-scoring Saints side. Playing for a team that averaged 47% possession, chances were often few and far between for Broya, as he fired off just two shots per 90. But he showed himself to be reasonably adept at making the most of those chances, getting just under 40% on target, above the likes of Harry Kane and Sadio Mane. He's also excellent in the air, winning 4.2 aerial duels per 90, 1.6 more than Antonio, which could prove useful to a side that hit the most crosses into the penalty area last campaign. Given his age and potential, £30 million seems like a reasonable price, but with Chelsea under new ownership, Marina Granovskaya edging towards the exit door, and Lukaku reportedly close to returning to Inter, leaving them extremely short of options, we are sceptical about whether the Blues will sanction the departure of another highly rated Cobham graduate. Do you guys see this move happening? Let us know in the comments below. For any Chelsea fans worried about their lack of incoming signings though, we have some good news, because the Daily Mail are reporting that Tuchel will look to sign Everton's Richarlison this summer. According to the report, once Lukaku ends his quite frankly embarrassing second spell with Chelsea by joining Inter on loan, the German will look to bring in Richarlison and Raheem Sterling to bolster his attacking options as he looks to improve on what was a fairly disappointing first full season in charge at Stamford Bridge. In terms of Richarlison, the Toffees have set their asking price at £50 million, unsurprising given they paid an initial £35 million to sign him four years ago, with the fee potentially rising to £50 million if certain criteria were met. As we've reported in recent weeks, Spurs are also credited with an interest in the former Watford man. But given the fact that Chelsea have a history of not only competing for but winning major trophies, and there is an obvious space for him in the forward line, we suspect he might plump for a move to West London over North if the opportunity arose. But would Richarlison be a good fit at the two-time European Cup champions? Well, firstly, it's worth pointing out that despite only turning 25 in May, Richarlison already has five years of Premier League experience, racking up 178 appearances, in which he has scored 48 and provided 16 assists. With Pulisic, Ziyech and hudson Adoy in particular having struggled for form and crucially fitness over the last few seasons, Richarlison is incredibly durable, with last season the first time he's missed any more than two league games in a single campaign through injury. Capable of playing centrally or on either wing and an increasingly vital cog in Tite's Brazil side, Richarlison showed his quality last term putting up 0.36 expected goals per 90, good enough for fifth in Chelsea's squad despite playing for a woeful Everton side. He might not be the statement signing Chelsea fans wanted to kick off the Bowley era, but if they manage to sign Richarlison and Sterling, that's two proven Premier League players in their prime arriving at Stamford Bridge to replace Lukaku, whose skill set and attitude never really fitted. Personally, we like this move at the right price, but do you agree? Let us know down below. It's been widely reported for weeks now that Man City have identified Calvin Phillips as their primary midfield target this summer. Having initially feared that Gundogan might choose to leave when the window opened, his title deciding double against Villa appears to have lessened that risk, whilst Bernardo Silva's future appears to be at the Etihad. That means that City need to sign a replacement for the outgoing Fernandinho, and Phillips has been earmarked as their dream signing. According to the Daily Mail, Leeds are already covering for this eventuality, and are making inquiries as to whether RB Leipzig's Tyler Adams, who worked under Jesse Marsh in East Germany, could be tempted by a move to Elland Road. The 30-cap US international joined De Bullen from New York Red Bulls in a £2.4 million switch in 2018. And though he has struggled to become an established regular, only once making more than 12 league appearances in a season, his transfer mark valuation now stands at over £15 million. 
With three years left on his current deal, Leipzig have no need to sell, especially with Konrad Leimer continually linked with a move to Bayern Munich. But with Austrian international Java Schlager signed last week, Leipzig boss Domenico Tedesco might be willing to cash in on Adams if the price is right. According to reports, Marsh plans on introducing a double pivot next season in order to shore up a defence that conceded an alarming 79 goals, only five fewer than Norwich. Adams is very much a work in progress, but he's shown signs of being capable of combining effective dribbling through the middle third with stereotypical Leipzig pressing, with his 22.5 pressures per game last term ranking in the top 15% of midfielders in Europe. If Leeds manage to complement the £10.8 million signing of Mark Rocker with Adams for under £30 million, £20 million less than the asking price for Phillips, who endured an injury-ravaged season, their midfield might be in a better shape next season than in 21-22. All they then need to do is potentially replace Rafinha, a man directly involved in 33% of their league goals last term. No easy task. We suggest they look at someone like Sassuolo's Domenico Berardi. We regularly get criticised on Football Daily for spending too much time talking about top six clubs. So listen up guys, we've got a transfer rumour concerning a newly promoted side, namely Steve Cooper's Nottingham Forest. Yes, that's because the Reds are set to take advantage of their hard-earned Premier League status by signing an emerging Bundesliga star, none other than Union Berlin striker Taiwo Awanyi. That name might be recognisable, and if so, there's a high chance it's because the 24-year-old Nigerian striker was on the books of Liverpool between 2015-16 until the start of last season. Sadly for the six-foot striker, he never actually got to don the famous red strip, with work permit issues forcing him out on seven loan spells in six years to the likes of Ghent, Mainz and most recently Union Berlin. With the Arn ones persuaded to fork out £6.5 million to sign him permanently last summer, after he notched five Bundesliga goals in 2021. He repaid their faith with a very impressive 20 goals in 43 games last term, including 15 in the Bundesliga as Union finished fifth, their highest placing in their history. With Mbappe, Haaland, Lautaro Martinez, Terrier, Nkunku, Abraham, Vinicius Jr, Vlavic and Skamaka, admittedly quite a few, the only under-25 players to score more league goals in Europe's top five leagues last term, Awaniyi was mixing with some pretty elite company. It's no surprise therefore that Forrest have been persuaded to fork out £17.5 million to sign him permanently, with a Telegraph reporting a deal could even be completed this week. With Brennan Johnson and 34-year-old Lewis Graben, the only Reds players to enter double figures last term in the championship, it was clear that Cooper badly needed to recruit a natural goalscorer. Whether Awaniyi can cut it in the Prem is another matter, but we are hugely excited to see him in action. Do you reckon he's up to mustard and who else should Forrest look to sign? Leave your thoughts in the comments section. And finally we bring you the news that Arsenal are looking to make three marquee signings in the next few weeks. Gabriel Jesus, Lissandro Martinez and the aforementioned Rafinha, and today we'll bring you an update on all of them. Fabrizio Romano confirmed yesterday that after securing the signature of Porto's Fabio Vieira for an initial €35 million, Euros, the Gunners have now turned their attention to Gabriel Jesus, with a Man City striker who has been linked with Spurs and Chelsea now their number one priority. He said that, quote, negotiations are now very advanced, Arsenal will now need to be fast on the details. He then offered a warning to the Gunners, claiming that PSG and Spurs are monitoring the situation. As for Lissandro Martinez, this is a surprising one that very few people saw coming before the end of last week. Ajax have already turned down a €30 million Euro bid for the 24-year-old Argentinian, who has spent the last three seasons in Amsterdam. Capable of playing at centre-back or in defensive midfield, and with an absolute wand of a left foot, we've long been admirers of Martinez. If Arsenal can somehow pull this off, it would only add to a squad that looks increasingly deep in certain areas, not least centre-back, where we expect Martinez to feature predominantly. The only issue though, his former manager Eric Ten Hag is also interested, with his former target Jurian Timber seemingly heeding the advice of his national team boss Louis van Gaal and electing to stay at Ajax and continue playing regularly in a World Cup year. As for Rafinha, while some have questioned whether they need to sign another winger, who primarily plays off the right-hand side given the performances of Starman Saka last term, it's clear he'd add a lot to a squad that only scored 61 goals last campaign, 38 fewer than Champion City and 8 fewer than their closest rival Spurs. Expected to cost at least £50 million as well, it appears that the Cronkies realised that with Chelsea and Man United in disarray, this is the time to strike. And strike they have, with David Ornstein claiming that Arsenal submitted an opening bid for Rafinha last night, which falls well short of Leeds' valuation. But an improved bid is expected in the coming days. The Athletic claim that Rafinha's preferred destination is Barcelona, followed by Chelsea, with the promise of Champions League football a major selling point. It therefore seems like the Gunners are up against it with the Brazilian and Lissandro Martinez, 
with Gabriel Jesus looking the most likely. If they did somehow manage to land all three though, where do you think they would finish next term? You know what to do. So guys, that was transfer talk for another week. What did you guys think of the stories? Did we miss any out? Let me know in the comments down below. Personally, I love the sound of those links to Arsenal. I think Lissandro Martinez would be an excellent pickup. But crucially, what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to Football Daily and I'll catch you next time.